Hello guys, welcome to Jensen Channel. Today we'll be making a game like this. So, it's a basic RPG game. It's a basic RPG game. Uh, so... You won't be making a lot of stuff. You won't be making it as complicated as this. So, it's basic high RPG scrolling. As you can see, there's collision here. And then, uh, oh... Maybe next time I'll teach you how to make like coins, chests, and all those stuff. For now, we have a simple change system, yeah? So you press space to change weapons. And then, if you want to sh shoot, you press enter. We won't really be making these this shoots. This game's a little buggy, but uh, I'm trying to fix the bugs. This game will be a official release game, so... Okay, so I will share the sprite links in Google Map in Google Drive. So let's get started. One, two, three. I still looking at me. Okay, everyone. So I have my two sprites here. Sprite one, which I'm gonna rename as Player soon, and then there's Sprite. Then there's level one. So, uh, inside level one, the dimensions are about uh, yeah like this. But feel free to expand the level level to about uh at least four eighty to three sixty really to make for a exciting level. For this one, for the player, it must be at least four times four pixels. Yeah, actually um it, just sixteen by sixteen I guess. So, we're going to start by making two variables. The two variables are going to be called x for all sprites. And, oh, okay, oh yeah, I, I already set it up, sorry. So, after these two variables are created, which is um for all sprites, of course, we're going to take out green for that click. And, of course, we're going to set the variables to zero, because that's what every single scratch project does, really. So... Next, we're gonna open a new green flag. A green flag clicked. Forever. Of course, forever loop again. You just put in four ifs first. Yeah, like this. Must be like this. You, you, you definitely cannot do this, okay? After you do that, we're gonna make custom blocks. So, you're gonna call it move. Wait. Move x. Then you can add input x and y, add input y. Make sure you do not click the run without screen refresh, okay? So after you do this, you have to put a go to x and y to, you know, make this um, go to the position position. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh... For this right, you have to make an extra one, which should be a tiny dot, preferably the size of one. Yeah, just make it like this. Yeah. But you always must set it to this one, okay? After you do this, you have to put a if. Yeah, if. And then you put not touching. So this is going to define the meaning of this, I guess. That's technically what define means. So then you take out the two variables. X and Y. And change them to X and Y. Simple. So, is this all? No. no. Uh, if you want it to be like... Uh, let me make the, the thing infinite, right? Uh, for me, I'm not going to do it first. But for you, I'm going to put... Go to zero zero at the back here. Actually, I think I'm gonna do it since so. Uh, I guess it makes the game better. I mean, like, why not? For ifs again, yeah. For ifs again, there's gonna be a lot of ifs in this thing. Well, maybe not a lot, but okay. Then why greater than one thousand nine hundred should be the perfect amount. Well, I guess it will be the perfect amount. So then, you just set the x and y to zero.
So now you just literally no less than negative one zero zero, and then you do the same thing. And now you have to set the x. I've, I've scratched add-ons, okay? So this one should be two two thousand five hundred if you want to, or less negative, yeah. So you basically just copy this. It's really easy. Yeah, it's really easy. Simple. Okay. So this is the whole, the whole thing is done. Okay. That was simple. Now, time for the simple part. Keys pressed. So I'm going to do arrow keys. Because why not? So. The right key, okay. I think you 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 def you definitely you definitely can put WSD if you want to, uh, but for me, I'm a WSD player. But for the sake of simpleness, move. So this is gonna be like how fast you want to move it, like how many pixels or something. Yeah. So you put this five if you wanna. Not too fast, not too slow amount. If you want to put one, you can, but it'll be like really, really slow. Wait, oops, I'm, I did it wrong. Sorry. This will be here. So for this part, it literally gonna be five here. Then just delete this part. Then negative five here. Perfect. So, it, as you can see right now, wait, oh yeah, I forgot. You have to set the size to at least 300. Yeah, 300. Uh, you can set the size here. Yeah, set the size to 300 here. So, for this level, this level is going to be quite a challenge. Wait. Because it requires some scripting. If you want to set a level, then um, you can. But for, for the sake of simpleness, I will do this. So for the start, you have, you have to change it to costume 1. Yes, costume 1, this one. And then you set the size, so it tricks Scratch into thinking that it's actually a small sprite, and you can change it into, like, big value. Yeah, like this. Then you then you put a forever loop. Then you just literally... Go to minus 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 zero zero x variable input into the right slice right slot of the minus x and y and that's basically almost done. So then you put an if else under it and so then you put you take out an and from the operators and then you, you basically, it's quite simple. Take out equal, equal two equals, okay? Oh my god, it's already working. Okay, so, zero, zero. Uh, wait, oops. So just copy this, copy this, copy this. So copy this, and then you put the x position, y position, here. And you show an hide. So, let's go. It works. Look at this collision done. It's working. And, so, and also, if you want it to be nicer, you can just put a background for my cowboy feeling. I'm going to put brown. Yeah, that, 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 that changes the environment by so much. So, thank you guys. See you next time in another video. And scratch on.